how's it going everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on the video, and today I'm going to give you guys a quick review of the Nintendo Switch Elite Player Backpack. So I'm just going to go right ahead and say that I really like this thing a lot actually. It's, it's super nice, and for a backpack, it is quality. Like, it's made out of a very nice canvasy material that is actually weatherproof. So if you're out in the rain with your Switch and all your stuff inside, it's gonna stay nice and dry and protected. Just like the RDS Industries case, you can take your entire Switch setup here with you. So as you can see, I've got my dock, I've got my Switch, I have a game case for 1-2 Switch, I have my Zelda Special Edition case, I have a battery pack, I've got six Joy-Cons in total, two Amiibos, and a MacBook Pro. Not to mention my Joy-Con grip and my Pro Controller. So I'm gonna try and fit all of that stuff inside of this backpack and see how it feels and show you guys how it fits exactly. So let's jump right into it. Cracking this thing right open, let's see where all of your goodies will go. It looks really nice inside. You can see that all of the pockets are labeled with pictures of where the items should go. So this is the Pro Controller case or the Joy-Con grip case, um, or pocket actually. This is the Switch pocket. There's a little nice little picture of a Switch right here. And there are six pockets for six different Joy-Con controllers, which is awesome. And then you also have a bunch of extra room here for anything else you want to throw in there. Books, a laptop, um, a baby, whatever, whatever fits in there. Let's go ahead and start throwing some stuff in there and see how it all goes. The first thing I want to show you guys is that the Switch actually fits really nicely and securely inside of the Switch pocket of the backpack. You can see that we don't even have to take the Joy-Cons off, you can leave them on there and it slides right in nice and smooth and the Velcro strap goes right over it, meaning that it'll keep it nice and secure inside. But if you did want to, you could take off the Joy-Cons and pack them in the Joy-Con pockets, leaving the tablet alone in the Switch pocket. One of the downsides of this backpack is that when you're packing your Joy-Cons or a Pro Controller or anything with a joystick, basically, into one of the pockets, the joysticks tend to get attached, just like this. So it makes it kind of hard for them to go in, which is why I've started flipping them around backwards. It's kind of a quick fix. I'd rather them go front ways because I think it looks kind of a little cooler and it doesn't feel too natural to flip them in backwards, but it works and it's a quick fix. Like I mentioned before, there's a pocket for the Pro Controller as well, or the Joy-Con grip if you want to put it in there. But it's really awesome and it makes it really easy to put the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller inside. You just have to grip it in there and slide it. And as you can see, it has its own Velcro strap as well. In fact, all of these pockets do. And last but not least, we can throw in the dock, which is arguably one of the most fragile and tedious pieces of equipment in regards to the Switch. And you can see that it's really easy, just slides right in just like that. So as you can see, we have the first pocket filled up with all of our most valuables for our Switch, with our Switch included. And we want to make sure that this is secure, so check it out. It's not going anywhere. I mean, this is a really great backpack. This stuff is not gonna fly out. Even if the bag is open, no one is gonna take anything out of it, unless unless they're really good at picking Velcro locks. So, moving on to the next pocket, you can see that there is even more space in this beast. Right away, you're gonna notice the picture for headphones. So this is a little slot where you can put in a pretty big pair of headphones. I mean, this pocket goes down pretty deep. You can see that it goes about halfway to my forearm, so if you have some nice Beats, Beats will definitely fit in there. Um, if you have Astros, you can throw those in there as well. What you can put in there if you don't have a headset is the old-fashioned Joy-Con grip. It fits really nicely and it leaves you lots of room for other stuff in there as well. So if you have some Amiibos lying around that you want to take with you, you could definitely fit those in there and they're not going to cross around with each other too much. There's a lot of space in there. So because there is a lot of room in this backpack, you could even carry around an extra, more portable case for your Switch with you if you wanted to for the convenience and protection factor. I'm gonna put my special edition Zelda case in there. I think it fits really nicely and it's not too heavy or in the way of anything else in there. So you can see it zips up quite nice and everything still feels really light. I mean, I have almost all my stuff in here and I'm not, I'm holding it with my thumb and I'm not breaking my back at all. Moving on from there, we have the game cart compartment. As you can see, there's a nice little picture for our game carts. 
You can even put an entire switch case in there, but there's also a little cool sack where you can put the game cards individually by themselves. It doesn't hold them individually, but as you can see, it does hold them very snugly. They're not gonna be flying around. They're not going to be jumbling around the backpack. You can line them up nicely in a row and they're actually really convenient to pull out as well. Before we throw in the laptop, I do have an extra battery right here that will power the switch portably if I run out of juice. And I'm gonna put that right here in my top pocket, which is another really deep pocket. You can see that I can go pretty far down, almost, almost halfway up my forearm. I would say about a quarter of the way up my forearm, but you can put easily put an extra battery pack. You could probably put two of these in here comfortably, very comfortably, and I'm not worried about it swinging around and hitting anything. Last but not least, we can see that the laptop will go in very nicely in the large pocket of the backpack, completing the whole setup. And there you go, guys. This is the Nintendo Switch Elite Player Backpack. I think it's an awesome, awesome backpack. If you're in school, if you go to middle school, high school, even if you're in college and you carry around your Switch, definitely pick this thing up. It's great quality, it's weatherproof, it holds all of your Switch stuff in there. You don't have to take your dock with you, but it's got all these awesome compartments for other stuff too. I'm sure you could improvise and put all your little gadgets in there if you're a nerd just like me. But before you guys go, I just want to remind you that I'll be giving away a free Nintendo Switch as soon as this channel reaches 20,000 subscribers. So make sure you're entered into the giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and click on the Gleam link in the video description below. So there you guys have it. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.